So what is Binance Smart Chain and how smart is it? Hello once again, and welcome to our new video exploring the Binance Smart Chain, BSC, and its native token, BNB. With tens of billions of dollars worth of BNB locked up in DeFi contracts on the Binance Smart Chain and an estimated $100 million plus in their accelerator fund to pump into new and exciting investable projects, this Ethereum killing blockchain is not to be slept on. So what exactly is Binance Smart Chain? Well, this is essentially a blockchain network that has been specifically built for running smart contract based applications. And on top of that, it utilizes Ethereum virtual machine technology to ensure compatibility with ether backed plugins, such as MetaMask. One of the key things here is that BSC claims to run seamlessly in parallel with the native Binance chain, enabling users to combine the smart contract capability of the former with a high transaction capacity of the latter. The ultimate aim of the BSC platform is to empower developers who want to build decentralized applications or dApps across a broad range of applications. Although it could also aid users who want to manage their digital assets cross chain without compromising on either latency or functionality. And because of this, BSC is widely considered to be a direct rival of the Ethereum network, despite the fact that it currently relies heavily on Ether's existing development community, currently being the operative word. There are a number of compelling features associated with the BSC. So we've already touched on the fact that it allows for the development of apps, with the BSC protocol compatible with Ethereum and most of the rival blockchain's native dApps, their tools, and the unique ecosystem components. And as a result, dApps like MetaMask or Math Cloud Wallet can simply be imported or copied to the BSC network with minimum fuss or time. Just copy-paste. So what examples are there of BSC in action? One example is the capacity to create yield farms, which allow users to effectively put their crypto assets to work by placing them in autonomous financial protocols. A central component of DeFi, such protocols can subsequently allow leveraging strategies such as lending, staking, and the provision of liquidity, with the latter contributing to a more rewarding and fluid exchange. Thanks to the arrival of the SafePal Wallet app version 2.3, BSC users now also have access to the so-called instant swap feature. Through this, it's possible to swap your favorite coins or tokens, including the native BNB, immediately across a wide range of supported networks. SafePal also fully supports the BSC network, so you can swap tokens efficiently and safely with very little hassle. Credit where it's due, BNB has enjoyed a pretty incredible 2021 to date, and some argue that it's even better performing than Ethereum, when the latter was struggling with congestion and bloated gas fees. This has drawn further attention to the ambitions of the Binance founder, known as CZ, who has continually talked about his intention to see BNB overtake Ethereum in the future. As it stands right now, it would need to grow 5x in order to comfortably do that. What is the BSC looking to implement in the near future? Well, one, more cross-chain functionality with other blockchains, welcoming more and more projects from other blockchains to migrate over to BSC, something which is becoming more frequent as Ethereum scalability issues continue. They also wanna do more bug bounties and security work to improve the overall trust of the network. On top of that, gamification, synthetics, ultimately the birth of institutional DeFi, inviting advanced large-scale DeFi services to build on the BSC. Let's bring these things back to the present, or at least to the recent past. Recent price growth has been inspired by a number of high-profile developments, including the announcement that Venly has launched an NFT marketplace on the BSC. The Venly marketplace will now support NFTs on the BSC ecosystem, creating a cutting-edge and potentially lucrative exchange going forward. The open-source client-side tool MyEtherWallet has also revealed an updated version that supports BSC, offering users direct access to faster and cheaper transactions. We'll close with some more good news as you can now buy, store, and manage BNB seamlessly through the Atomic Wallet, while also exchanging it with up to 500 different supported currencies. Currently, you don't need to verify your identity to store or exchange the token through the platform, although this will be required if you intend to buy the asset directly. You can complete the purchase with your debit or credit card while buying at least the minimum of $50. BNB isn't currently one of the 13 crypto assets that are compatible with staking on the Atomic Wallet, though keep an eye out for future changes. Well, that's all from us for now. We do hope that you've learned at least a little bit of something new about BSC and the growth of the BNB token through 2020. We'll see you next time.